So moving on to the actual IHC optimization. Now you have your antibody, and you're hoping it's going to work, and maybe you've tried it and it hasn't worked. This is a standard um, histochemistry protocol. I'm assuming most of you have at least a little experience with immunohistochemistry. Um, but if you don't, uh, there's a couple of links at the very end of the uh, presentation with nice videos, uh, links to some videos that show you some nice, uh, basically, how to prepare samples and how to do the staining procedure. And, but this protocol, like I said, is standard, starting off the fixation, embedding and sectioning. And then you're moving on to the antigen retrieval step. This is going to, at least for the um, samples that are fixed in formaldehyde-based fixatives, this uh, reverses some of the cross-linking that's introduced by that fixation, uh, helping to reveal the uh, epitope that the antibodies want to recognize. And that can be either with a heat-induced retrieval or enzymatic retrieval. And then finally, moving on to the blocking uh, before the primary antibody, blocking any kind of nonspecific antibody by incubating with a protein, a solution of protein, typically a serum, a solution of serum from the secondary antibody host species. Your primary antibody and you can incubate for an hour at room temperature or overnight at 4 degrees, um, and the optimal concentration and incubation time usually can be obtained from the data sheet or by experiment. And then followed by some wash steps, then the secondary antibody and a substrate if you're using an enzyme for detection.